My watch is screwed up. It didn't actually uh, pop up the overlays for some reason. Oh well. And I'm going to have to adjust the score because... Our player here on the top left is actually at three wins. He is our blue Terran. He is. SCB ready. And I'm, and what? I swear that was different before. I thought it was enemy. MME place. Sinfio. SCB Wasn't it? Ready. It just aside. It was just Sinfio uh, last week, according to to SC two ranks. I almost said SC2 gears. But yeah, it was just S Synfio is what I pulled up in the stats oh. down there. Yeah, I was so confused. I was like, wait a minute. So, MME Synfio. Synfio. His opponent's going to be in the top right, currently at one win. He's a red Protoss. He is. TSL and Nori. So, these three wins carrying over from last week. Yep. Synfio. I'm guessing he had to leave early because Lucky Fool was actually the last player up. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think he went to bed. Wham, wham, wham. Actually, no, Sinfio was actually the last player. I was looking at the wrong week, so Sinfio actually last player up last week. Oh, so I was good. Yeah. Oh, he went to bed. <laughs> oh, he went to bed, and so did we. Actually, we didn't. We played Dota way too late. This is why I can't sleep. Uh, so far, a nice scout from here, from Anori. Uh, doing a little bit of damage on the SCV, but scouting out the gas, more importantly. So knows it's going to be a little bit of tech. At least stay in here, delay the timing of that single tech lab coming down, if that's even what it's going to be. And there he goes after that SCV again. But Marine's going to pop out and actually deny that, so... Not gonna be able to stay there. Although, he did see the add on going down, so he knows it's not gonna be a factory. Yep. Question is, did he have to actually time to click on it? I I seriously doubt it. I, I doubt it as well, but that's actually one of the key things. Playing against a reactor versus a tech lab is it kind of elicits way different responses. Um, obviously you want a couple stalkers out if it's just gonna be pure marines, so you can actually kite and your zealots don't get kited. But if it's a bunch of marauders, then you need to have kind of a more zealot sentry composition, kind of trap those uh, marauders against the zealots, and not take any of the bonus damage from the armored, uh, from uh, versus armored from the marauders. So he's still gonna have to play a little bit safe here, and we actually see him doing that, getting a second gas instead of uh, going immediately into expansion, um, which is it's generally a good thing to do um, versus any kind of gas opening from Terran. It's a little bit safer to get your second gas before you start immediately expanding uh, just because they have so many options that they can do uh, in addition to this when they have that gas. Well, he is going to be able to verify that it is a reactor by coming up the ramp here. Only three marines should be able to duck up there and get back down after verifying. And there he sees it. There's five marines out right now. He's actually going to get a kill on one. Zeld absorbing quite a bit of damage. Ooh, that was actually really dangerous. Lowering the supply depots with only four marines. I actually would have gone for that. Uh, a single zealot can take on three marines if they're in close proximity, and that stalker with it can certainly uh, allow you to do that. So from from Anori, we are seeing a robo as well as another gateway. So he's going up to two gateways, three gateways, one in the back. And here oh, comes the attack just... on the front. Another marine going down a bunker, finally getting placed down. A little risky that he hasn't done that yet. This is so cool. I actually haven't really seen this a lot. Using the stalker's bonus range here, so stalkers have a range of six. Marines have a range of uh, five, and just using that zealot as scouting on the high ground. Oh, almost losing that single stalker. Yes, he is actually getting a nice round there. Almost lost that stalker again. But it seems like he's probably delayed here long enough. Yeah, he's got the bunker up. Not only that, but both of those units very close to dying. It's a little risky that Inori's even staying there at this point. Uh, and very nice from Sinfio right now, throwing down an Inji Bay. Just to verify that that second base cannot come down. And we are seeing a one base Colossus from Minori going up to a four gate as well. I no. don't think this is going to be a one base Colossus. I think this is going oh, to be. One base Warp Prism? Yeah, with speed. That is, uh. Well, that is scouted. <laughs> but we'll see. 
Because generally, if you're throwing down these extra gateways, you can't really afford Colossi, but a speed prism? Maybe. Maybe. Here comes an immortal. Alright, Cynthia is just gearing up to hold. Throwing down a factory at this point. Probably gonna think about getting a couple Vikings out if we get, get up to that point. Uh, since Vikings are pretty much good against anything that comes out of that robot, besides the Immortals. Oh, oh, that Stalker! That, that hurts Stalker. And that Stalker's on its last lens. Yeah, I, I actually just love to see this Protoss being really, really proactive with these Stalkers. And every single time just really using the uh, shield regeneration to get kind of free trades. So just, just trading something that kind of regenerates. Oh. For all this stuff to actually cost Terran money. Oh, he lost one. Oh, so it is going to be one base Colossi. Right now, no range upgrade. Finally finds an NG bay. He wants to throw down ex that expansion. Already up to 600 minerals. It looks like the Marines in the uh, SCV by itself uh, pushing back those stalkers. Although he's being so aggressive with these, it is... It's actually incredibly entertaining to watch. One HP left on that Stalker, yet it's still running in. I mean, but look at look at the units lost. 275 versus 675. That's, that's pretty... 11 insane. units to 2. And there goes the Marauder. Actually going to kill off the single Stalker that had the more health. Yeah. Once uh, Concussive Shells is done, that Stalker Asmin is kind of pretty much over. Observer, oh, even scouting the third command center coming down here. Very nice. But I mean, this is gonna kind of uh, cue off his timing attack. Moving out with a single immortal, a single colossi, or a colossus, a stalker, and a couple of zealots, as well as a full entry energy sentry. There goes that proxy pylon. The marine sees it. I believe the marine saw the proxy as well. Yes, it did. And there goes the SCVs, and he's basically oh, oh! catches all the workers out, even the two mules here. Oh man, this is so good right now. And he's actually supply blocking Cynthio. He gets another uh, supply depot up, but there he goes, supply blocked again. More SCVs gonna go down, and Cynthio just gives up. GG. Nori takes the second game. What a push. What a push. Who needs two Colossus?